Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Uh, welcome to Power Wash Simulator. This is a game that actually entered early access a month ago, <clears throat> back on May 19th, uh, 2021. It's currently available on Steam for $19.99. <clears throat> and I think, for right now at least, it's going to be PC only, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. What the, what the heck? I just start talking and all of a sudden my voice goes to crap anyway i think it might be coming to xbox um series s and x but i don't think it's coming for playstation from what i can tell or maybe that's another game anyway um I just google it or check down in the video description i'll try to put it in there um after the fact but we're going to start out on career mode and let's see we start out with clean the van Great news, finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's just been dredged from the bottom of a lake, but that's a good thing. It meant no one else bid on it. Okay, <clears throat> so we start this job. Golly, what is going on with my voice today? My voice sounds fine, but it's like I feel like I've got a frog in my throat. I'm going to drink some water here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm really sorry for, like, coughing at everybody um let's see here so you have a couple different nozzles you've got like this zero degree nozzle which is basically like a spot cleaner that pretty much always clean like if if there's anything that's dirty that pretty much always cleans everything whoops uh, oh there's extensions and then your soap, your cleaning liquids, and I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay, you also have a 15 degree nozzle. Now, this is a little bit wider. We have a 25 degree nozzle, which is even wider. And then we also have a 40 degree nozzle, which is the widest. Now, obviously, um, as you widen your spray, you can actually see that it's not quite as effective. But, um, you know, for certain jobs, and especially later on when you get more powerful uh, pressure washers, uh, using the wider sprayers can actually, you know, make a pretty big difference. You can also hit the tab key, which will give you, like, your dirt view. So you can kind of see what needs to be cleaned. And then uh, if you if you left click, basically what happens is you, you just spray while you're holding down the um, your, your left mouse button. If you right click though, it, it basically stays on continuously. So, most of the time, you're, we're probably going to be right-clicking there. So now you can actually see there, with that 40% spread, how much less effective it was. Um, let's go back to 25%. And I'm going to see if that... Yeah, that kind of did the, the trick there. Now, windows often require a little bit more cleaning. So we're going to probably need to go back on this a few times. And I hope that I've got the sound level set okay because for me it's very, it's very, very, very loud. Okay, we still haven't cleaned the window, huh? Okay. I would say the, the head that I use the most is probably the 15%. There we go. Just because it kind of gives you a decent spread, you know, an okay spread for the power that you have. And starting off the game, it's kind of really needed. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and continue cleaning the truck. Oh, you can also hit R to rotate your head. Left control to crouch. OK. 
Okay, door is clean. clean for this. Oh, let's get the wheel, the tire and everything. Perfect. Now, going slower does actually help. Okay, let's kind of move over here. And you, you do, you know, angles also make a difference in this game. So if you're having problems um, figuring out you know where something dirty is um, chances are you know you miss getting under a ledge or something like that like I know this bumper's got to be clean but we got to get this top edge there we go Right now my biggest concern is, is the water sound too loud in the video? So I hope that it's not because I always record all this as a single track, which I probably shouldn't do. It's probably like YouTuber rule number one of things you don't do, but hey, this works for me. What am I, am I, did I not get something in this front part? I don't know. All right, let's uh, try this windshield. So here's kind of an example of where you would use a, the spot, um, the spot tool, or the spot nozzle, because here we go. Um, especially on windows, it just seems like sometimes I can't get the, the type of pressure that I want on those windows. And let's see, maybe we'll try this one. Power wash services. Now, one of the things that I commonly do is I mistake the name of this game as pressure wash simulator or pressure washer simulator, but no, it is actually power wash simulator. Okay, a little bit right there. I'm just going across the bumper here. Got the bumper clean.
There's a removals van outside my Nightmare Neighbors place. They're finally going. Whoever moves in there is going to need a quality pressure wash. Hmm. And I suppose I'm the one that's going to provide said pressure wash. Uh-oh. Yep, here we need to go back to a higher pressure washer. Yep, and see we got to get up underneath there. Oh, also need to get up under the bumper. Also getting closer to an object also helps increase the amount of pressure that you're putting on something so if you're having problems you know always be sure to get up close and personal okay so i think we got everything in the back Another thing that I've noticed about this game is that there are, see the garden gnome over there? There's garden gnomes everywhere in the game, like on every single map. Um, at least every one that I can remember. And from what I understand, they're actually going to be releasing more and more maps, or more and more jobs, if you want to call them that, um, over the course of time. So. The first time I played this, I was like, oh my gosh, there's like hardly any jobs. I mean, there there are, but I mean, it's like nothing that you can't beat in a weekend. But um, from what I understand, they're going to be adding more in the future. So, which is certainly a major case for I hope so, because the game is 20 bucks. It's 1999. So it's not, you know, it's not in, in, you know, it's not insignificant. Did I ever clean the mirror? I guess not. All right, let's switch over. The higher pressure nozzle. Okay, so now, hello. back to this nozzle, rotate it. Now some of these nozzles you can kind of use to your advantage, especially <clears throat> on flat surfaces like this, because I can clean really far away with this particular nozzle. And I'm not sure if this is like a problem with coating. And uh, there we go. Job complete. So escape. And it gives us a nice little time lapse of our cleaning. And we're completed. Now you can go in, if you're missing a spot, you can come into this menu and actually see like, you know, where, you know what exactly you need to clean. But it looks like we got everything. Whoops. Uh, there's also all the text messages you get during the course of your job. You can go back and read through it if you so wish. And then you also get the um, overview. Um, let's see. Pinged you the $100 left over that you gave me. So <clears throat> we've got a little bit of money. Now, 
you, there's also a shop. Now you can go up, you can buy additional um, power washers. So like to get the medium duty, we need to get up to $1,250. I highly recommend not spending any money on soap or anything else because you're just going to take away the speed at which you can get the 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 higher end pressure washers all the way up to actually the professional duty is not on there but the heavy duty is is really nice um sometimes i i would almost say skip this one and go straight for the heavy duty even though it's going to make a few of your jobs um take a little bit longer so but that's just my opinion um you know taking a little bit longer in the beginning to uh to get the better washer later um so here's all your cleaners they have glass cleaners metal cleaners plastic stone wood and a universal cleaner which is kind of like does an okay job on everything so if you really want to if you're dying to get stuff done faster by all means um go for it so level complete next we go to the next um the next job which is clean the backyard <clears throat> hey doc i hope you like a challenge because i'm pretty sure i've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen i don't know i've seen some girls with some dirty backyards um let's see that's not <laughs> that's not me bragging by the way i had nothing to do with it i've just moved back to town for a bit okay so anyway my girls are itching to get out there and i don't want them still itching when they get back inside all right i'll take care of what is it with these itchy back you know backyards i don't get it anyways all right so we've got quite a bit to do here um let's go ahead and i kind of want to start out with the wider nozzle but Funny enough, my first girlfriend, Florine Perez, used to live here back in the day. Those were good times. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> I can't even imagine what's all over these ba this backyard, especially with this massive privacy fence. Ew. So on things like the these square posts, always make sure that you've got an angle. See, we were cleaning from over here, but um, there's kind of like this back area here, which we didn't get. So always make sure you kind of clean at an angle. Same thing over here. Uh, why can't I? Oh, there we go. I'm like, why can't I stand up? <laughs> okay, so that's cleaned. <clears throat> now the rocks are dirty, but the gravel, I guess, is not. This definitely looks like mold or mildew of some kind. Okay, I kind of feel like I should go top down here. Mm. 
<clears throat> Whoop. And I don't think there's anything to clean on the top of those railings. So I'm going to try to kind of clean a little bit faster here just to see what kind of result we get. And as you can see, we kind of miss some spots a little bit more easily. However, okay, we got the top part done. So yeah, you can clean fairly quickly with this uh, with this nozzle. But again, you know, you probably don't get the precision that you want by going a little bit slower. So you do end up having to go over certain areas, you know, two, maybe three times if you're not careful. Perfect. All right. So, you know, you can you can try different methods of cleaning, like up or down, side to side. Perfect. So everything up there is clean already. So you can you can even like walk and clean as you go. Okay, got those done. <clears throat> See, that's why I love this this 15 degree nozzle because it just you can kind of clean things a little bit more quickly, I think. Now a lot of people ask, Brad, what, why are you playing this game? Are you serious? Is this like the most boring game on planet Earth? Look, I get it. It's like a pressure washing simulator. Having actually used real pressure washers, I can tell you that cleaning things with a pressure washer like a driveway or something is incredibly therapeutic. It truly is. See how I missed these spots here? So it does help. I mean, you could sit there and constantly hit the tab button. Now, hitting hitting the tab button, it just br see I just tap the tab button. It brings it up. Now, if I hold the tab button down, the same thing happens. Oh wow! Okay, I was I was actually not expecting that to get done. Okay, not gonna complain.
And I can't remember if I have... Do I have to do all these stairs at once? See, like, right here... You can kind of do, like, the whole thing... In one swoop if you go slow enough. Maybe. Okay, got those all cleaned. We'd get that clean. <clears throat> but I guess I didn't. Like, I want to know what happened here. Like, did the septic tank erupt? Because this is pretty freaking bad. I guess we'll start cleaning these rocks off. Now, can I try a slightly wider? Yeah, see, it's just not, it's not hitting all of that where I can just beep, be done with it. So we have a new job available to us. Lorraine and I would climb up and down that rock garden all day pretending we were... Oh, I missed it. I don't want to know really what they were pretending. So I guess we can go back and read them later. <clears throat> Looks like they were <clears throat> pretending to be baby diapy changing people. I don't know, whatever, whatever that's called. Again, gotta hit those rocks.
This is a lot to do, I'll, I will admit. But for all of this, I guarantee you, there are even longer jobs in our in our future. Yay! Okay, I'm just kind of looking for dirty spots out here. Because I think we have to go down and get the front of this. Actually in here. It's funny how some of the jobs you go into, um, especially if you have interior areas where you have to clean, the, the map will seem like super dark, and then as soon as you clean everything, it's like, oh, it's really not that dark. <laughs> oh, there's some... See like up here, under that lip over there? Still not sure if I got it. Alright, so let's start cleaning around here. Yeah, we got the pool ledge done. Or, well, it's not a really a pool, a water pond or something. <clears throat> My only guess is their, their toilet must have stopped working and they decided to, you know, go out here. I don't know. got the rocks there. I don't know if that includes the upper wall, but I think it might. Yeah, it's basically all about percentages, like what percentage of what is going to get cleaned. Boom, all right. So that's done. Okay, so we've got over here. Okay, we've got a, got a birdhouse. Oddly enough, I've actually pressure washed a birdhouse before. sure to get in the hole really good. Birdhouse stand clean. I guess that was just the bottom part. Void house. All right, so that's clean. All right, we'll come back to that. I want to kind of get all this done. Oh, God. I forgot about this.
some surfaces, and I think personally wood is a little bit harder to clean, but I don't really know, you know, I don't have any information as far as like, if that's, you know, how accurate that is. <laughs> Could all be the same. But for some reason, like wood seems a lot, and, raw, and like rock like this, and even cement, you know, like, well, you'll see later in the game. It does seem a little bit more difficult. All right, so that's clean. That's clean. Yeah, this one, because it's like a 3D fence, you have to clean this a little bit differently. And this stuff is a nightmare. Like, I can remember when I was pressure washing my dad's deck. He's got like a lattice on here like this. And oh my god, because you have to clean it from that direction. Then you got to come over here, like clean it from a different direction. It's just a massive pain. And then I don't know if we can, yeah, see how it's like dirty up there? Now, thankfully with, with that, with dad's lattice, dad's lattice, um, I only had to hit it from one side that made it a little bit more bearable, but oh gosh, it's still not fun. Bumped into the park warden. He definitely needs your help. Okay. Oh, nice. Look how the the uh, pressure washer blew through there. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, see, I just, I kind of feel like going back to this again. Because I can pretty much just clean it in one swoop. Thank gosh. See, you don't have to get these, like, perfectly clean.
Boom. So, okay, so all that's done. So let's kind of go do the floor here. Now I noticed that the more, like, the, if, like if you're looking straight down, you actually move more slowly, which for doing this is good. this going more slowly with the wider sprayer is kind of what you want to do that's looking pretty pretty darn good there to that time we went a little faster and yeah, we did all right But the more I point up, you can see the speed is definitely increasing. So. I love how the house is pretty much unscathed by the diarrhea disaster. I'm being a, perfect, a perfectionist here. See, like, right there. If I had gone a little bit slower, we probably would have been all right. This is like the perfect game for some, someone who's OCD, I think. <laughs> Maybe not for someone who's OCD to watch, but definitely to play. Okay, we're going to have to go to the stronger head. We got a dollar for cleaning the dog bowl. You know, you could probably buy a new plastic dog bowl for a dollar, but hey. I don't know. The way the economy is going these days, though, probably not. Right, doggy house, you're almost clean. Wait, what did I just clean? Lawn edge or something like that. Dog house is clean. All right.
So you do want a little bit of an overlap. Uh -oh. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. <clears throat> Dirt Finder General got your details from a certain Harper Shaw. I don't know Harper Shaw. Who the heck is Harper Shaw? Chairs cleaned here. Garden chair clean. All right, so that's good. So if you guys are paying attention, you're probably noticing that I'm actually rotating the washer head as I'm going, depending on what I need to clean. Clean those chairs off. That would let, <laughs> wouldn't let me stand up. Okay, cool. Get the last bit of this. We'll continue cleaning the porch furniture, but I think I'm pretty close to get having the the patio completely clean. Yeah, see how close we are. So it's kind of like let's just do this. We are so close! Yay! All right, so that's done. Oh. 
See if I can jump up on. Yeah, there we go. Haha! <laughs> I can support my body weight. There we go. So we don't. Have, we don't even have to clean it like a hundred percent. Okay, so the patio furniture is clean. So now we just have to do this. I'm gonna try cleaning all these with the uh, 25 degree doohickey do bobber. Okay, that's working pretty good. Kind of create a divide there and then... My best advice is, yeah, kind of clean things in sections. And it just makes things so much easier. Perfect. All right. So everything, I guess everything up here is done. Everything over there is done. Let's come down here and clean all this. Boom. Okay. Lawn mowers next. Yeah, this is going to be one where we're definitely going to need the more powerful. I can't remember if like each of these wheels cleans individually or not. Is that everything? Lawn mower is done. All right, let's go back to the 25 degree. Uh-oh, now we've got some more stubborn goop on this thing. Looks like you're almost done. My cur my girls can't wait to get out there. Well, don't have to. What the monkey? 
I totally don't remember a cat being there the first time I did it. Ah, spray the cat! It's like the first cat in the known universe not to be deathly afraid of water. Okay, windows cleaned. Now here's another thing. You definitely have to get up under the lip here. Missing. Did we already? Why isn't that wall popping as clean? Okay, so the first cat in the known universe that is completely impervious to water. Oop. Get underneath that ledge right there. Very nice, very nice, very, very nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Looks like a couple spots. Okay. Fast. So if we can like Go really super fast like this. Not too bad. Get the bottom. There we go. All right, so that's all clean. <clears throat> Shed decoration is clean. More shed decorations are clean. Okay, now again, got to check the metal bits there. I think we just completed the... OK, 
Okay, cool. So now, okay, we gotta get up underneath here. Now we just have to get up on top. Um, so now I'm gonna make use of, of my step ladder here. To jump up on, onto the roof. Oh gosh, is that not gonna do it? So is that cat supposed to be a decoration or what? Because <clears throat> trust me, I don't know how many cats in this universe would be terribly excited to have a, a grown man with a pressure washer uh, heading in their direction. As a matter of fact, I don't think there would be too many. Probably none. But you never know. There are some cats out there that do like water, but I would still think the pressure washer would probably scare the ever-living poop out of them. All right, so we got all that. Shed is done. Actually, I think they've made some modifications to the shed because I'm not seeing, yeah, you know, like those things down there. All right, moving on. Got the little uh, love seat here. Yes, I need I know I need to clean this. I can already hear everybody yelling at me. get the back of the love seat here. I can't remember if this thing completes when it's clean or if it's like the whole shebang. The whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, that answers my question.
Wait, is that our, oh, nope, not everything, not by a long shot. Ah, I can almost jump up there. I wonder if I can jump. This is like, gonna be like parkour simulator. Oh no! I think if I hadn't have let, released the shift button, we might not got we might have gotten over there. Okay, we parkour! Hey, how about that? Okay, swing roof is clean. Okay, I think that's done. All right, let's go for this. Okay, edging is clean. And then oh, we've got the grill, little patio here to do. And then we've got the toy car to do. Well, the grill, patio, and the grill. Whoa, I didn't mean to jump. <laughs> Whoops. You know, you know exactly what, vi or what game they're going to come out with next. They're going to be like antique metal car restoration videos where they use like a sandblaster. Yeah, have you seen those videos on YouTube? I've been seeing them for like the last year or two where there's nobody talking. It's just some guy. They'll take like an old Tonka truck or some other kind of old metal, tr you know, children's toy from like the 1950s or 60s or something. And they'll um, basically sandblast it, re you know, resurface everything repair it if it needed and then they'll repaint it it's pretty cool I, I love watching those videos Now see, like these little stubborn knobs, this is where the cleaner could really make a big difference, especially like around this stuff. But if you just kind of go slow, power it through, you won't need it and you'll save, I, you know, $10 might not seem that much, like much, but the cleaner does not last long. And you know, what's kind of funny is if you've ever pressure washed like the side of a house or something like that, which I've done many times, or a deck or whatever, and you actually do use a cleaner like like for um, you know mold or mildew, whatever grows on the side of houses, you know that that stuff does not last long at all. You know you'll be spraying five minutes in, it's gone. <laughs> it's really does move that or, or go away that quick um and it's kind of the same way in this game Get up there. Again, right in here is where the cleaner will help. But I don't want to spend the money on the cleaner. 
Um, if you're watching this, my channel for the first time, um, let me give you a reminder to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, and if you want to, turn on notifications to get notified when I post new video content or go live or any of the other things that I might decide to do. All right, are we done? No. Still got to, oh, got to do this one. Now, why can't I? Why can't I get into the propane tank there? Okay, gas supply clean. All right, I think we're done there. So we just have the car to do. We're almost done, guys. But yeah, if, you, if I get enough likes on this video, I might actually do a series on it. Um, just going through the different jobs. Um, they're pretty fun. Some of, her, some of them do get monotonous. Um, but that's just like any pressure washing job. I can't remember if this just completes as like one entire unit or what. I'm just trying to hit all these little nooks and crannies around the wheels, tires. Ah! It? Oh no, we gotta clean the seat. And that is done. But we're still not done, done. Done, da dun, dun, dun. Uh, what have we not cleaned? Fence posts. <laughs> oh, one fence post somewhere. I think we got all those. Which fence post did I not get? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Hey, Doc Cal here. Got a job for you over at my folks' bungalow when you can fit it in. All right, so that's the uh, completion of the job. Um, yeah, really nice compared to what it looked like. Um, worthy, it's a backyard worthy of Brad M73. <laughs> um, so let's see what we got for, oh, here's our little time lapse here. Turned out pretty cool. So we got all the clean stuff. There we go. All right, level complete. So we'll hit continue. So now we have a few different jobs. We've got a, a dirt bike job. Um, we've got a clean bungalow job and a clean the playground job. So um if i don't do let's see how much money do we have right now 550 so if we do 550 plus 75 for the motorbike plus another 550 for clean the bungalow that will give us 1175 dollars which is gonna get us pretty close to the medium um, duty pressure washer and then I think um, whoops let's go back to the jobs menu uh oh wait can we can we oh no I don't want to do that one and then yeah once we go to the playground once we start cleaning some of these other things um, that'll probably kick us up so that we can uh, get the the new pressure washer so 
Um, I'm going to at least do one more episode, but definitely hit that like button if you are liking what you see. If you have any questions about Pressure Washing Simulator, or if you just want to comment on how ridiculous uh, the concept is, which I don't really think it is because uh, this can actually be a viable job. Um, but leave those down in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys. Uh, but don't forget to like, share, please comment, please subscribe for this and many more videos. This is a Power Wash Simulator. And I am Brad M73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.